Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to do an introduction to gumbo. Now, I could not resist with this cute little uh, graphic here. Is it Gumby? Is it Dumbo? No, it's gumbo. So if you're not familiar with gumbo, it is the open source uh, Adobe Flex 4. And open source means you get all the code, so you can actually work with that and use that to enhance your paper vision classes. And I'm so excited about that. What we're going to do today is show you how to install Gumbo, get it running in Flex, and uh, build a small application. Let's take a look at the application real quick. This application is at www.professionalpapervision.com forward slash demos forward slash web forward slash gumbo rotating video. What we're going to do is put a video on the stage and rotate it. So here's a video playing and when you rotate it to the X, excuse me, the Z, the Y, and the X, it rotates around. Now let me go ahead and show you. Also have full play, stop, and a go. So you can play the video, pause the video, stop the video which takes you back to frame one, play it again, and rotate it. Oh, that's pretty fantastic. And the neat thing about it is one of the big difficulties with paper vision was getting those UIs, those flex UIs, into um, 3D. And now in Gumbo, those UIs are native. No more bitmap data hacks. I mean, native 3D with all the components that Flex has. And I'm going to show you where to access those components in Gumbo and how to know what components you can use for 3D. So let's move on with the process, get Gumbo installed in Flex and start creating our first program. Now before I get started, I want to point you to a great blog. Uh, Peter DeHaan uh, has a great uh, Flex Examples blog that I've actually been watching for a number of years, ever since it first came up. And he is doing a number of examples with Gumbo. So go to that blog and visit it and check out some of his examples. He does an example of a rotating image and I actually extend it to put a video in its place and add the play, stop, and pause buttons. So we're going to show you how to do that right now. Let's get Gumbo installed. There's a number of steps in, in installing Gumbo, and you're going to be amazed at how easy it is. The first thing you want to do is just go to the URL. I think that's the hardest thing is to find it. So uh, it's in opensource.adobe.com forward slash wiki forward slash display forward slash flex SDK forward slash download plus flex plus four. So follow this address right here or click it on the blog, of course, and download the SDK. And you're going to have it in a zip file. Now, I'm going to assume that you're putting it into Flex, so you want to download the Adobe Flex SDK. Uh, put it in a zip file and unzip it, and then you're going to point to it in Flex through the Windows Preferences um, dialog box. And once you point to it, you're going to click and accept it. Now, you can make it your native uh, running SDK, but I actually keep at 3, and then I change to 4 whenever I need it. Going to show you how to change the four whenever you run a project. Uh, you're just basically going to choose four. Now, when you choose four, this is very important that you make sure the Flash Player 10 is in the lower dialog box. If it isn't, it won't run. So we're going to show you all this right now. Let's step you through the process. So first of all, let's go to the uh, download site. So here's Adobe's download site for Gumbo, and you're immediately presented with a number of options. You're going to go, which ones do I choose? You've got a latest milestone, stable builds, and nightly builds. Now. Latest milestone basically is what Adobe is saying. That's our stable uh, configuration. And you can run this, and, and surely you're probably not going to have any problems with this. And most likely you could build applications to put those out on the web. You're going to be okay. These stable builds are ones that they generate that are not as, um, I guess, stable as the milestones. Milestones are released, I guess, about every six months, where stable builds are uh, released about every month. Uh, we don't see one here, so uh, we're not going to be able to use it. But... Uh, you might want to choose this once again if you're going to be doing, you're writing and you're doing development and you're still going to put something on the web and there may be a glitch, but it should be pretty good. And the last one is nightly builds and there's no guarantees on these. This is everything that's been deposited into the uh, uh, subversion and it could be unstable, but you know, I'm kind of on the wild side, so we're going to download the latest build, okay? The nightly build. So go ahead and click on Adobe Flex SDK and that's 101 megabytes, so it's fairly large, and we're going to download that to our desktop. We're going to unzip it and then we're going to point to it in Flex and get it running. Now, while we're waiting for our download, I want to point out also you can use SVN. So you can see I have Flex 4 right here in a folder and I have the SVN. So I'm downloading directly from the SVN. Uh, into a folder and I can basically update immediately what's been done in uh, Adobe Flex for Gumbo but uh, the other way is to do, go ahead and just download uh, the nightly build for example and put it in a folder on your desktop and once you have that we're gonna right click and unzip it and we're gonna point to that folder 
So let's extract it. Okay, I've extracted Gumbo in the folder, and this is a beautiful thing. Let me show you something real quick here. We're going to hit Framework, and we're going to choose Projects, and we're going to choose Framework again. We're going to go to SRC and MX, and go to Controls. And what you see here are all those components we're talking about that you can now use natively 3D. You have button labels, calendars, <laughs> um, data grids, data field, H rule, uh, you know, just a whole plethora of items. And just surf around this whole folder structure, and you're going to find lots of goodies that you can use to enhance your present paper vision or use in a gumbo to put some dynamic 3D web stuff up. Well, with that said, that's all you need to do. Now let's open up Adobe Flex and point to this folder, and we're ready to rock and roll. Let's open up Adobe Flex. So to get Gumbo running in Adobe Flex, what we want to do is go to Window and choose Preferences. And then we want to go to Flex and choose Installed Flex SDKs. Click on that, and then you want to basically add this SDK. And we'll click Add. And then navigate to the folder that it's in. And that's literally all there is to it. So come along here, and it's on the desktop, and we'll look for our folder nightly build. Click on that, hit OK, and you can see this is the second version I have, so it actually gave me a little one there, that's nice. Hit OK, and apply. So I can not only run Gumbo, but actually several versions of Gumbo if I want to do that. So for example, I could have my stable build, and I could have my nightly build, and test the difference between the two. Apply that. And uh, let's see if there's anything below here. Hit OK, and you're done. And now you're ready to run a Gumbo application. Let me show you how easy it is to do. First, we've got to find a Gumbo application. So what I suggest you do is go to the hand site and grab his rotating image example, get that running, and then we'll show you how to modify that to create rotating video. So on the book's blog, I actually give a link to Peter DeHaan's uh, great rotating example. So go to Rotating Image Gumbo Code and click on that. And uh, his site basically, let me go give you the address so in case you lose the blog, it's basically blog.flexexamples.com and then search for uh, 3D rotating objects in Flash 10. And we're going to click on that and come on down. And here's his example. So if you click here, you can see it rotates around the x-axis, around the y-axis, and around the z-axis. And it's great to see they're using the same axis as PaperVision does. <laughs> that makes me happy. And let's go ahead and, of course, and let's go up and here's the code, and we can just come along here and actually download it. Just click on View Source. And he gives you the option, of course, to download it. And download the source. We're going to unzip that source, and we're going to get it running in Adobe Flex. So here's the source. Go ahead and save it to a folder, unzip it, and now let's get that running in Flex. So I've unzipped it and I put it in a folder. That folder is called FX Rotation 3D Test. I'm going to open that up. And what I'm basically going to do is just copy everything in the folder. I'll now open up Adobe Flex. And you could have imported the archive as well. So let's go ahead and right click and create a new project. And I'll just call this my gumbo test. And hit OK. Or finish. And so now your project is open. And I'm just going to paste that right on top of the my gumbo test, the stuff that I copied from uh, Peter's site. Hit yes to all. And I can see right now I've got some problems. I have two things highlighted. I have the main four highlighted, and I have the uh, my gumbo test highlighted, which has nothing in it. What I need to do now to get rid of this conflict is change to the Flex 4 SDK. So make sure you're clicked on the project. Go up here to Project. Go to Properties. And choose this panel here and choose my Flex Compiler. And choose Flex Compiler. And here you can choose what uh, SDK you want to run. 
and we had created a, a point four, and so we'll hit apply. And it's telling you, hey, look, you know, you were running a different SDK. This is going to change some things, and you go ahead and change your HTML wrapper. And once that's done, you can go ahead and OK, and you're ready to run your program. So now we're back in Adobe Flex, and we can see that indeed that conflict has changed. We just have a main for as our uh, default application. Let's click on that. There's his code right there, which, which we're going to be modifying in this uh, tutorial. But let's click on that and see what happens. So you're going to run that. And ta-da! You're running Gumbo. That's all there was to it. So if you click on these you, different buttons, you can rotate this around the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. Very simple. And Adobe Flex gives you the power to run multiple SDKs. Isn't that wonderful?